Life before the Fab Lab was rough. Being able to have all the creativity in your mind and the world and not being able to express it is like the biggest void that couldn't be filled. We have a whole lot of youth that don't have outlets. That's why they're so angry. Main problem in the streets of Oakland is we don't have resources to teach the kids how to think for themselves, how to create. That's why a lot of people are getting in trouble. If they had outlets like the Fab Lab, it would impact their mind and their spirit to be able to see that they can use their creativity and their passion and their love to create something positive instead of creating something negative and impacting the world in a negative way. It's very imperative we continue to pour into this resource like if anything was to go bad being able to still have technology and the manpower the resources to manufacture things that could be essential and help abundance of people in times of need you never know what could happen any moment and being able to have a resource like being able to put PPE out during the coronavirus and help the essential workers and give the homeless PPE so that they're protected and the fab lab could definitely help the economy instead of outsourcing we can build jobs right here in Oakland California I would tell as many people and as many youth as I possibly can, bring them in so they have the opportunity to grow aspects of their self that they haven't yet seen and have options that they haven't yet felt. You can literally create the thoughts in your mind and conceptualize something and manifest it into reality. And that's a beautiful thing. Just imagine if the Fab Lab existed with Albert Einstein was here or if Plato or Socrates was here. We would be in a whole different type of world. I learned a lot of things that I can use in a real world. It helped me be able to think outside of the box. What I really enjoyed about it is you get real world problems and come out with real world solutions. Imagine how we can save the world. Clean the air, clean the ocean, keep the homeless out of being homeless. That'll leave us all in a better place.